Microsoft Fabric folders act as an organizational unit within workspace where we can create hierarchical structure for fabric items such as lake house, warehouse, power bi report, paginated report, dashboard, semantic model, data pipeline, notebook, and so on. Using folder, we can group items based on various criteria such as quality of data, endorsed or promoted data, and of course, how we can deploy for different kind of stages. So I want to see how we can easily publish this Power BI report from the Power BI desktop to the Power BI folder within my workspace. Let's get started. Now, I'm going to come to the web platform and of course I can see this is the app.powerbi.com. So I'm going to click on this little factory and I can click on the workspaces. I've got a load of them. Let's say I want to publish this Power BI report to the Fabric Notebook workspace. I'm going to come there for now. In this case, I've got only items such as lake houses, semantic model and so on no folder. I'm going to go ahead and come to the Power BI desktop and I'm going to come to the home tab and make sure you sign in into your account. I'm going to click on publish and then it's going to prompt me to save my documents, the Power BI desktop file. So I can click on save and then it's going to automatically launch the amazing publish to Power BI new interface which is super cool. Now in this case I can see all my workspaces lined up to the left of the panel and then I can go on and publish. So I want to publish to this fabric notebook. Now in this case, I'm going to see all the items in that particular notebook, no folder. So I can actually publish into a folder here because I can't create a folder. So what I'm going to do is to go back to the platform and go to that specific workspace, fabric notebook. So I can click on this new button at the top and I can see the amazing new folder, which is in the preview. So click on that. And I can give this a meaningful name. Let me call it Power BI Reports. So let's say I want to actually land all my Power BI reports in this folder. So I can go on and create folder. Beautiful. So let's go back to the desktop version. So in the desktop, now I'm going to just click on any of this existing workspace and then go back to the Fabric Notebook. As soon as I come back here, automatically I can see the, uh, the Power BI report folder available for selection. So I can double click and then we can see no item so go ahead and click on select that's going to be selected automatically and then the publish commences so there we go your file was published but disconnected no worries now i can click on open and i can access the file within that folder this is the report in the service now i can go back to the fabric notebook and then when i go back i can access that specific folder so let's click on that so click on the fabric notebook and i can see that power bi report what about if I want to move my lake houses, the semantic models, and the SQL analytic endpoint into a folder to be arranged logically? I can go on and click on the new and create a new folder. And then I'm going to call this one lake houses. And then once I'm done, click on create. So I'm going to have the second folder. So I can see some or some buttons on the left side there. So click on that. So this is going to automatically select the lake house the semantic model and the SQL analytic endpoint. So I can go on and use this move to move this stuff to that new folder. So double click and then click on move here. And that's it. So moved. I can do the same thing for the credit card fraud, lake house and so on. So click on that and I can just go ahead and move. So once I'm done, select the folder and then click on move which is brilliant. So this basically allows us to arrange our items into logical structures. Now, let's say I want to actually share the Power BI report only. I can come to that folder and then I can search for the Power BI report. So I can click on this share button. So I can go on and type in the email address of the person I want to share with, or I can type the user group name if they are actually in user group in the Microsoft Entra ID. So once I'm done, go ahead and click on send and that's it. What about if I want to share the semantic model without sharing the report? I can click on the name of the semantic model, in this case, National Grid Power BI Training, and then we're going to see the option to share semantic model. So when I click on that, I can see some permissions I can grant to the person I'm sharing the semantic model with. So I can allow them to modify this that's it. What about if I don't want them to share with third party, I can take this permission out from them. And of course, if I don't want them to modify the structure or the data set, I can take this permission from them. So of course, there's something called least privileged permission we have to grant. So we should allow them to be able to build content with the data associated with this semantic model. And then we can go on and send an email notification. So once I'm fine, just put the email address or whatever name it is and then select and then go ahead and click on grant access 
Beautiful. So they're going to get an email in the Outlook and then that's going to tell them, hey, this person has shared these semantic models with you. And then they can click on that and then begin to interact and work with the semantic model. What about if we want to create a subfolder within a folder? For example, let's say I want to move the credit card fraud, lake house, and the semantic model and the SQL endpoint into a subfolder. I can easily do that. I'm going to come back to the Fabric Notebook workspace and then I want to access that folder. So I'm going to come back here and double click. Okay, so I can create a folder within a folder. So I'm going to click on this folder new and let me call this credit card fraud link out. So once I'm done, click on create. And then I can go on and move the whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the button to the left and then go ahead and move. So when I click that, so I'm going to see the credit card for link house subfolder. So go ahead and click on that and move here. So there we go. So I can see I've got a subfolder within the original link houses folder. So that's basically how we can work with folders in Fabric Workspace. I trust you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, share with your friends, comment, and follow me for more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.